Right, we have a problem, you and me. We are not writing enough. Yeah, I think I can understand why, really, can't you? But I'm going to have a go at fixing that for both of us. Yeah, OK, that was about five in the morning. I could barely see you. So I went back to bed. But it doesn't matter what you haven't done as a writer. It only matters what you do now. So, hello, I'm William Gallagher. This is 58 Keys, and it is for writers who have Macs, iPhones and iPads, but are not using them to write enough. Um, I want to show you now how I plan out my writing year. Every December, I do what you're about to see, and, and it's for a dozen reasons, including me helping me then write more. I do not mean that you and I are going to make New Year's resolutions or something. I, I absolutely do not mean either that we're going to end up with some list that says first draft of novel by February, second by March the 10th. Yeah, no dates. Yeah, unless some other, I don't know, the date's part of whatever it is. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, instead, we're going to get our writing intentions, uh, my writing hopes, out of my head and turn them into writing plans we can actually do. So, easier to show you. Let me show you here. Right, so uh, I'm going to open up an app called MindNode. There it is. And just set a new mind map, which I'll explain if you haven't come across them already in a moment. I want to say this, though. Um, when I do this every year, um, I don't usually have somebody with me. And I think actually having you here will help me think it through. Uh, hopefully better, certainly faster, because I don't, I don't want you, someone to see you go like that. If it starts to take a long time to go through, then I'll you'll see me skip forward quickly. Because I, I mean, I don't think you care about the details of what I'm doing as a writer next year. I want you to see the principles of it, so that obviously you can apply it to yourself and your writing. That would be why we're here. Okay, so have a look at the screen. This is Mind Node. This is my writing. Oops, what's my job again? My writing year. Thank you for auto correcting there. Twenty twenty one. Uh, 21. OK, so um, let's start with uh, things that are on my mind. Um, this is kind of the project for the year. It has been for a while, but I've got various bits I've got to do about this. Um, forgive me, I'm going to have to use uh, abbreviations every now and again because there's bits I'm not allowed to tell you yet, bits I don't want to tell you because you'll catch me out, <laughs> things I don't want you to spot in case I never actually get to do them, but BW is a thing I have to work on early in January. It's one of the few things we're talking about today where it actually has a deadline, and I won't bother entering that here, but I will later in the process, as you may see. So there's that, um, but there's also... Is this really helping? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's the thing there, but there's also... R4 for once, you might know, Radio 4. That's the thing. Um, actually, stage version. Uh, I have this project where I think, uh, I wrote it for radio, but I think it might well work as a stage play but um i need to talk to somebody about that okay uh, i think that's it on that one can't think of what else to do with that you could argue that this is all stuff that i just want to do whereas obviously there's stuff that i'm commissioned to do and there's stuff in between which is direct work i'm creating myself so most of the things i'm creating are courses results i had and you notice how by the way everything just moved across there this is the benefit of doing a mind map on paper because i can do this i can do that i uh, it never runs out it's called an infinite canvas so i can just keep going forever um have a look at this this is my writing year 2021 and and because i'm a full-time writer that's a mixture of things i want to write and things i'm you know, commissioned to do the, you know the regular work and things um i think everybody's split like that between what they have to write and what they can write or between what they want to write and other commitments they've got uh i mean my business is all writing so it this is this is slightly lopsided in that it's all writing. Uh, if you're juggling uh, writing with any other job, then I think it's worth putting down everything to do with that job here or those jobs if you're freelance as well. Get everything out of your head and then you can look around at this. So, for example, 
now that I can see everything in front of this, in front of me, uh, for this, actually, let me start moving things around. Let's move courses up there because I'm not sure about the short film. Um, I'm actually going to put that in there because it's all part of sequences shortened. I'm going to delete that. Okay, that could be useful. The stage version and the things like that. I kind of want to split that out. Actually, so I'm going to see stage as a separate thing. I'll rename it to just stage work. And actually, cucumber here. Well, that is, if nothing else, that's about stage, isn't it? Export to OPML. I can't remember what OPML stands for, but it's like a standard format for outlines. Uh, export this. So I don't get mixed up. And now we'll just get rid of that. And if we open up Omni Outliner, I'm really surprised it wasn't already open given how much I use this app. Do check out the interview with King Case, the developer uh, of Omni Outliner that ran uh, over Christmas 2020. It's in a playlist on 58 Keys channel. Um, here we go, writing year in OPML. That where you can see it. There you go. Ta da! That, you, you, you're thinking there's some, it's a bit short. See the disclosure triangle there. And let's look at stage work, cucumber. Actually, I can just expand them all. That's the map in that long order. But actually, let me collapse them all. I'm going to take one of these to work out. You're watching 58 Keys, so let's look at 58 Keys for the moment. Um, is there anything else I need to do that? Well, actually, I need to better at promoting on social media. People aren't finding me, and then uh, people are coming across. I, I've actually had people tell me that there is a thing called 58 Keys, and I feel they should know that I was doing it if they found it, but... I need to um, get on that more podcast, see. Or something. Um, I noticed that the number of subscribers have went up hugely when I was interviewed about 58 Keys on a, a podcast, and plus it was just really fun. I get to do all the nattering, and they do all the editing and the production work. It was, it was brilliant. But, okay, um, let's have a look at more interviews. Uh, well, actually, yeah, but I'm going to say this. Um, There were some people who weren't available to do the interviews, but were up for it um, when I did them over the Christmas 2020. So I've already got some people I can go back to. Do I go back to them once a month? Do I? Yeah, this is the kind of thing I'm thinking about for it. So leave that detail for later. Let's have a look at all of this. Um, a lot of the things in the mind map and then in this outline are not um, actionable if you like. They're not things I can th now go sit down and do. They are things I need to think about. Uh, but if I look at this, uh, better prep the schedule, plan the production, actually, TX, uh, the transmission schedule, when do I cover which episodes, um, plan the production schedule, when do I make the episodes, I'll do that. Um, uh, I That's an actionable thing, let's have a look at that. So now I've copied these, and I'm going to go over to my task manager of choice, OmniFocus. Right, here is the empty inbox in uh, uh, OmniFocus. There is an oddity here. If you go into the inbox or into any project in OmniFocus, a project being where you've listed tasks already, and hit you know Command V for paste like you do a hundred million times a day, nothing happens. Not true. Occasionally you get a bleep. If instead you go to the Edit menu and choose Paste, then it comes up with this option, which is uh, this doesn't make a lot of sense when all I've just got is a straight list. Of things I want to paste into it, but on the outline, I let you have multiple columns. So if I had um, do more about social media, and then I'd done a column saying use Hootsuite better, um, change the website, or something, it could cope with all of them. Since I only got one thing, a topic in on the outliner 
one of those lists becomes the title of a task rather than one of these pieces of information about it. So all I do is OK. And now in my to do up, there are three tasks. Now, uh, because they're 58 keys, I can already do this. I already have a 58 keys project. Um, let's have a look at that. And the last one. I think with only focus is you put things in anyway, just whack them in, get them out, done. And then you give them a project, you give them a date, a deadline. I don't want a date or a deadline. I just, I'm not trying to think of that yet. I just want them in there so I can work on them. Clear that. And if I now look at my projects, these are all the things I'm working on. Uh, 58 keys general, there, there it is. Uh, Oh, funny, somebody else asked me about that today. <laughs> Ulysses, I should definitely do that. Uh, so here are some notes I've had before, but here are the important ones. Here are the three. Okay, so what we've done is just dumped everything out of our head, uh, merged things around. I think actually I'm going to do more than that, uh, more than you saw. I like the fact uh, with uh, Sequences Shortened, for instance, it is a radio play incomplete. I feel like it could be a stage play and I do want to do it as a short film. So I might actually create a sequences shortened project and have these as tasks in there. I have things I can think about at least. Other stuff in there was much more uh, general. You know, stuff of what do I do with particular clients. Uh, the FEU, for example, you saw me note that uh, uh, I need to replace the FEU work because it's going away, but actually I'm still doing stuff for them. So uh, I will later go through and add the specifics of that. Specifics later, general at the start. Because the aim here, yes, it's to get everything out of your head, but also it's to treat everything the same. So you saw me list um, the rewrite of the novel that nobody's waiting, well, my agent's waiting for it, okay. Uh, the short film that nobody, you're the first person to know about it, uh, but I've listed that right next to the Apple Insider work where I'm commissioned. I mean, when we finish talking today, that's what I'm going to be doing today is at Hams, working for them. I, I've listed them all the same, so in my head they are all the same, and that actually means I treat them equally seriously, and that means God, this is turning into psychology 102 or something. Um, I, throughout the year, I will regard these things as things I have to do. They are not indulgences, not stuff that comes after everything else is done. They're stuff I have to do. And I know uh, you won't get everything through the year, but you'll get a lot of these things done. And more than you would have done if you didn't go through planning them and treating them in quite this way, I think. So, uh, as I say, in truth, I, I will go back to that mind map again, and maybe today, certainly over the next few days. I'll, I'll have been thinking about it over Christmas. I imagine I'll add to it. Maybe I'll remove things. I don't know. Uh, but I also don't care. That map is for me. You are the first person to ever see that I do this at all, let alone see the actual mind map. These things are for ourselves and, and you and I, we can massage us, we can work them, whittle them, we can do what we need to until we're ready. Um, details. That mind mapping app is called MindNode, by the way. There are very many mind mapping apps and I think they're all fine, but MindNode is excellent. Uh, then you saw me send that visual map into a text list in Omni Outliner. Have I mentioned how much I like Omni Outliner? Possibly not enough. And then lastly, I took some of the lines from that map from Omni Outliner and then put them into my to-do app, Omni Focus. Now that's a bit I wouldn't normally do today. I want you to see it uh, and that is what I do. But the whole purpose of this is really about sorting out my head to make sure that I'm thinking about everything I want to think about. Uh, tomorrow, in January, well, throughout the year, really, I will be going through this plan, this map, and that's when I will turn it into specific tasks. I, I like breaking down broad plans into specific tasks, specific steps, because then I can go do those. But it doesn't have to be today. I mean, come on, give yourself a break. It's Christmas. Thank you for what? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You've just seen my plan for 2021. I would be really keen to see yours if you'd like to put it in the comments below. And then we'd both be committing ourselves publicly to our plans, wouldn't we? I like that. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you're taking care of yourself, eh? And I'll see you soon.